We've talked a lot about how technology is creating a winner-take-all economy. The average consumer spends 79% of their time on five apps and 44% on just five sites. Facebook and Pandora are the most time-consuming destinations, with visitors spending, on average, 40 minutes per day on each of these apps. Google comes in third, capturing 20 minutes of daily media time. However, you can build a billion-dollar-plus business capturing less than a minute a day of a consumer's time. Some examples, meal kit site, HelloFresh, appointment site, ZocDoc, and media sites including BuzzFeed, Vox, and Vice. The bottom line, the average consumer spends more time on tech and media than work or sleep. Speaking of time, specifically bedtime, parents have hopefully scored a major victory here. Netflix is launching five-minute episodes of children's shows to help parents coax their kids to sleep. The idea is a truce between parents and kids, one show, then off the bed. I'm curious how my kids react when they first discover that we have pulled one over them from 30 minutes to five minutes. That is going to be ugly. So as we fawn over Apple and Google as the most successful companies in history, there are definitely some losers suffering at the huge wins of these companies. Apple is going to increase its revenue this year $50 billion. In an economy growing 2%, that means there's a lot of people on the wrong end of that huge shift in discretionary spending. Who's losing? Handbags, specifically Coach Stock is down 13%, Toomey 31%, Kate Spade has watched its stock plummet almost a third, and Michael Kors has tumbled 43%. In sum, consumers are opting for an iPhone 6S versus a Hamilton satchel. A loser religion, although 77% of Americans identify with some sort of religious faith, the U.S. public is slowly becoming less religious. I'm an atheist. Most of my friends say they're agnostic, which just means they're atheists who are wimps. Anyways, 92% of Americans born between 1928 and 1945 believe in God, but only 80% of younger millennials do. The difference is even more drastic when it comes to practicing religion. Just 39% of younger millennials pray daily, compared with 67% of their older counterparts. And only 28% attend services at least once a week, compared with 51% of the silent generation. My first marriage ended over religious differences. I thought I was God, and my ex was a non-believer. We'll see you next week. Pleased to meet you. Hope you get my